But first, a jury orders former President Donald Trump to pay writer E. Jean Carroll more than $83 million in her defamation case against him. The jury found Trump defamed her for years since she first accused him of sexual assault in 2019. Carroll left the courtroom with her attorneys tonight, smiling. And good evening to you at 6 o'clock. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Bill Ritter. It took the jury less than three hours to return the $83 million verdict. This for defaming her after another jury found he sexually abused Carol in the dressing room of Bergdorf Goodman in the 1990s. The damages awarded are far more than her attorneys had asked for. Jurors clearly sending a very strong message with their verdict today. I'm with News reporter N.J. Burkett live at the courthouse in Lower Manhattan with the breaking news for us. Newt. Yeah, right, Bill. The Trump legal team is breathing fire over this. Donald Trump himself had already left the courtroom by the time the verdict was reached. He learned the verdict while on the tarmac at LaGuardia Airport in his private jet, waiting to leave for an out-of-town campaign appearance. As Liz said, Ms. Carroll's legal team had asked for $24 million. What they got was more than three times that. E. Jean Carroll was beaming as she left the federal courthouse minutes after the verdict was read. She posed for pictures, but made no comment to reporters. The jury awarded Ms. Carroll $65 million in punitive damages, $18.3 million in compensatory damages, for a staggering total of $83.3 million. By the time the verdict was read, Donald Trump had already left the courtroom. Absolutely ridiculous, he later posted in social media. Our legal system is out of control and being used as a political weapon. Ms. Carroll was awarded $5 million after she won her case for sexual battery and defamation last year over her decades-old allegation that Trump sexually assaulted her in a dressing room at Bergdorf Goodman. Trump has publicly mocked Ms. Carroll both before the verdict and since. I have no idea who this woman is. I have absolutely no idea. The whole thing is ridiculous. This trial was focused on statements Trump made as president shortly after the original allegations became public, I statements he confirmed in his ridiculous. deposition. It's the most ridiculous, disgusting story. It was just made up. There was no anything. I know nothing about this nut job. And it never took place. And I will tell you, I made that statement and I said, well, it's politically incorrect. She's not my type. Carol claimed Trump's statements led to death threats and destroyed her reputation as a respected magazine columnist. This jury needed to decide whether she's entitled to additional damages. When the president speaks, the world listens, her attorney told the jury today. The hate mail, the threats that she's gotten, they parrot Donald Trump's words. But the defense insisted that Ms. Carroll craved the publicity and reveled in it. As for the backlash from Trump supporters, President Trump should not have to pay for their threats, said his defense attorney. He does not condone them. He did not direct them. All he did was tell his truth, end quote. The defense spoke with reporters here within the hour, Everybody vowing tonight to, right to, to appeal. Everybody's a right to defend themselves when they are wrongfully accused and to be able to say, I didn't do it. And to double and triple and quadruple down and say, this is wrong. This is wrong. Well, defending yourself is one thing, but the court ruled that Donald Trump went far beyond that. Several of the jurors smiled and nodded at Ms. Carroll as they left the courtroom today for the last time.